Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, once again, just uh, to remind everyone that are still, there's not a lot of people, but still a few users on older versions of Windows 10. And I'll also address this to a couple of users that seem to be on really old versions of Windows that have been not been updated in a long time in Windows 10. That, uh, first of all, if you're on 21H1, Today was your last patch Tuesday. For now, you're still safe, but that's going to actually fade out quickly as no more security updates are coming. It's end of support for Windows 10 21 H1. So um, if you are on 21 H1, the updates, if they're not showing in Windows updates for 22 H2 or 21 H2, you'll have to move here. Now, there's several things you can do here. You can try update now from the update button. If that doesn't work, then you can actually download the tool now, which is the media creation tool. One thing you can do from there is to update also. That might work if the first one doesn't. If nothing does, then you need to do a clean install. You will have to create a USB thumb drive with the tool, the media creation tool, that will have a Windows version on it that you can try to update. And that should technically actually update your PC. Um, if that doesn't work, you can boot with the media creation tool. You can use a Rufus tool to have a boot up, bootable Windows 10 the, uh, you know, thumb drive. And then there, install from Windows. One trick that you can try also if you're stuck at 21H1 is to use the recovery tool um, that Windows 10 has. And then the recovery tool is in the uh, settings app. And in recovery, you will have in the Windows Update tab, when you go there, you will have a recovery tab on the left side. That recovery tab, when you click on it, has an option which is reset the PC. By clicking reset this PC, you'll be able to actually uh, try to reset keeping your files. And by doing this, you will also have an option that will be um, cloud download. You can choose cloud download. This will download the latest version of Windows. So that could be another option to try and that would reinstall Windows. Um, and of course, that is also for all of those stuck on older than 21H1 versions. Last but not least, what are the dates for 21H2 when the end of support happens in 22H2? Right now, these dates are um, 21H2, if you're on that version, uh, in May of 2023 is end of support. So you'll have to move to 22H2 at some point. And of course, 22H2 right now, which is the latest version of Windows 10, gives you the ability to stay on Windows until um, until um, the uh, mid-2024, so 18 months from now, pretty much. Uh, so somewhere in May of 2024. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.